One of the questions we get asked time and again is what exactly is the difference between Gen BI and Gen AI? And to best demonstrate this, I'm going to show you a flow through a scenario using Python <coughs> and a large language model versus Pyramid in a large language model. To begin understanding this, let's imagine you're a user, you've logged into some kind of a chat interface and you've put your question into the engine, you know, please analyze X by Y and so on and so forth. The question would be sent to a large language model which would understand what you're asking for and would in turn generate a Python script. That script would include all the Python to recreate the business of querying a database, uh, doing analysis and ultimately visualizing the result and spitting it back out to you as the user. From here the script would have to be compiled and then run and in doing so it would have to talk to a database. Uh, get the results back from the database and then ultimately produce some kind of uh, result set and visualization which of course would be static. In this process of course you've got kind of few issues you've got to deal with. First of all, um, who's putting the database connections that knows what to talk to? That's one headache. Not to mention the database structures. Do you put them up here in the chat? Do you put them manually inside the Python script? Do you have to engineer what's called a prompt, which is a programmatic way of talking to the large language model? This is quite messy. The second headache is who is going to compile the Python code in terms of where is it going to happen and then ultimately where is it going to run? And if that wasn't bad enough and you are happy with this sort of pipeline and you're good to go with what comes out of it, you're ultimately left with one of the biggest pain points is how you're going to iterate in context on your questions to ask follow-ups. Right? The whole idea is to ask the next question. And the closest that we can think of is you're probably going to have to inject some kind of manual code, stick it back into the Python script and go through this loop over and over again. This, of course, completely kills the whole idea of, the, of a large language model and the elegance of Gen AI. If you think about it, it's very, very programmatic and very hands-on. In contrast, let's look at the pyramid process. First of all, <clears throat> you have two entry points out of the box. One is, of course, a type typing chat experience. The other one is speech to text, which is great for long winded requests. Yes, there's a pre-processing stage and that's very important because in the pre-processing stage, Pyramid automatically retrieves the semantic and relationship structure inherent in the database, plus all the details for how to, con to connect to the database. It's pivotal. We then go to the large language model and in Pyramid it gets interesting. You can interchange uh, LLMs based on the different data sets you're using. So you get the right thing for the right uh, question. It then generates a recipe, a very narrow recipe, by the way, much smaller than the, Py the matching Python script, which is then handed off to Pyramid's existing engine uh, known as Piranha, which includes the querying capabilities, the formula capabilities, all the logic, the analysis, and the visualization. Yes, it too queries the database, um, but you can do this in multiple stages and in multiple steps with follow-up so you can have multiple in and outs going on. Ultimately this produces interactive content, that's the big one, interactive live content that you as a user can keep playing with and it can produce it both as a visualization output as well as uh, audio. You can actually have the entire response written out as text or, and, and can present it to you as an audio file. What's important is yes the flow works very well much like this one might work but importantly it iterates flawlessly because from here I can ask my next question and then keep going around in a loop with writing, without writing any code without any interceptions and so on and so forth because Pyramid handles all the wiring and all the plumbing to make sure that the pipeline keeps flowing and the assembly line for asking questions keeps it tight and, and easy. So that's it. That's the difference between Gen BI and Gen AI. And if you want to hear more about it, please come to our website, pyramidanalytics.com slash generative dash BI. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.